Hey everyone, Willow Fox here. Sorry if I'm a little sneezy today. Uh, I don't know, allergies? <laughs> Anyways, um, this is my second video for today. Uh, my first video I just wanted to explain how I came to the YouTube Facebook community. And in this video I wanted to start discussing some of my philosophies. And so today I wanted to talk briefly about the web, not the internet, the web as in the spaces in between. The idea that we are all connected, <clears throat> excuse me, a good example would be if you take a pool of water and you throw a stone in and those ripples slowly go out to the edge of the pool, um, whatever we do, it affects everything. So you should be very thoughtful of your words and your intentions uh, when casting magic and in your everyday life. Um, I'm not sure where this philosophy came from for me. It's something that I've always believed in. It might have been a Wicca thing. It might have been just a general craft thing. I don't remember. But I would be very interested to hear if other witches have the same belief. And um, I also wanted to point out a video that I found extremely helpful on this <clears throat> because we don't know, we can never predict how far those ripples are going to go or what causes and effects they're going to have. Uh, just like a spider in its web, we don't know where the spider is. We, the spider only knows where the fly lands by its vibrations so meaning that we don't we can never fully understand what our what implication our actions are going to have so the idea that there's a threefold law um kind of speaks to that it's it's kind of a basic way of trying to assure that your ripples don't go too far or in the wrong direction. But I really enjoyed a video by Tillian Penry, and I cannot remember the name of it. It was something about intentions and how even good intentions have sometimes bad consequences when you're looking at the web of life. Her example was there's a woman sitting in traffic and she's at an intersection and she's letting all of these people go past her without going herself. And she's thinking, oh, today I'm going to be, you know, good. I'm going to let all these people go. And um, the guy behind her is getting furious because he has some place to go. And he's very upset that this woman is not moving and he can't get around her. So that's just one small example of things that can happen. And I'm curious if if any of you have any stories about unintended consequences um, of your so-called good spells, because like I said, there's true magic, neither black nor white. I think we've heard that a lot of times on different YouTube channels, but um, has anybody else experienced that web? And I also wanted to point, because I, I read a lot of scientific research it helps me um, understand my belief system and the fact that uh, science doesn't explain everything clearly and there's things that, you know, there's total voids in our knowledge. But one thing I found interesting is um, if you want to look up as far as nature goes, there's a video about introducing the white wolf back into Yellowstone which is a very good explanation about how the web of life works in a natural setting. And also, I recently read a couple of articles about um, income and higher education. And disclaimer, this is not a political channel. I'm not saying anything political, but what I am saying is that in this study, they um, were researching whether or not a uh, community's higher education um, out like okay <laughs> I'm getting confused myself here's what I'm saying 
they were taking the numbers from communities and seeing how many people had college degrees in these communities and what effect that had on the income level of people without college degrees in the same community. And what they found was the more people in your community that have a college education, the more money you will make regardless of if you have a college education or not. And I feel like that's kind of one of those things that connects us all that what somebody else is doing might have effects on you. So that's something interesting you could take a look into. Um, but if anybody has any other examples, I'd love to hear them. Uh, if you have any research papers or videos um, that you could recommend, I would definitely take a look at those. So thanks all for watching and I hope you subscribe.